What's going on you electric legends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing the Inway L20 2.0 e-bike, an affordable yet stylish ride that promises solid performance for city commuting and casual cruising. If you're wondering whether this is the right e-bike for you, stick around, we're going to cover all of the Starting with the design of the Enway L20 2.0, it is a retro kind of inspired frame with this modern twist to it. Honestly, one of my favorite things about this bike, the step through frame, making it super easy to hop on and off, especially if you are a shorter rider or those who don't necessarily want to swing their leg over a really high bar. The build quality is surprisingly solid for the price here. It is a 6061 aluminum frame and it doesn't feel flimsy. It comes with a sturdy rear rack that is great for carrying cargo. And if you are someone who needs a little bit more utility in your ride, whether it's groceries or commuting on this e-bike, it has you covered. Now let's talk about performance, and this is honestly where the Engway L20 2.0 starts to impress. It is equipped with a 750 rear hub motor with a peak output of almost 1300 watts, providing 75 newton meters of torque, which is more than enough for city riding or uphill modern hills. It does max out around 28 miles per hour, but that is in pedal assist 5, and we'll talk more about that later on. But that is plenty for most urban environments. Accelerating feels really smooth and responsive, and it's not lightning fast, but it's also not the jerkiest motion either. As for the battery, you're getting actually a 52 volt, 13 amp hour removable battery, which they claim up to 68 miles. You're probably not going to get that unless you're strictly on pedal assist 1. That is also depending on how you're riding, but honestly, that is a solid range for a daily commutes or weekend rides. Though we are consistently using the throttle, probably going to expect closer to just 20 miles of range. Charging takes about 6 hours from 0 to full, which is pretty standard for this size battery. This being an upgrade to the typical 48 volt system you see in this, you're actually getting a little bit more pep and higher end speed. This bike offers both pedal assist and throttle mode, giving you flexibility in how you want to ride. The pedal assist comes with five different levels, so you can either get a full workout or just cruise with minimal effort. The throttle is responsive, and it's great to have when you want to take a break from pedaling altogether. That said, I noticed the throttle isn't the most powerful, more of a slow, steady boost rather than an instant jolt of speed. It also caps out at 20 miles per hour on throttle only. To unlock that class three, you need to go ahead and put up to pedal assist five and give it a little pedaling, which then kicks you all the way up to 28 miles an hour. And away you go. Moving on to comfort. This bike excels here. Uh, the 20 inch by three inch fat tires provides excellent grip and cushioning, making rough roads and small bumps a lot less noticeable. Plus the front suspension fork adds even more shock absorbing, making the ride quality smooth and enjoyable. The saddle is pretty decent comfort for long rides, and if you're planning on having extended commutes, you might want to upgrade this for more padding. The upright position is perfect for casual riding, but for taller riders you might feel a little cramped depending on your height, even though the seat and handlebars are adjustable. When it comes to braking, the dual 180mm mechanical disc brakes perform well. They provide reliable stopping power, even in the less than ideal conditions like rain or gravel. It's a big plus in terms of safety, especially for urban riders where quick stops are necessary. The bike also comes with a bright front LED light and a rear brake light, both of which are functional and ensure that you have visibility to others during the daytime and nighttime rides, but I would recommend adding more lights if you are planning on frequent low light riding conditions. The color LCD display is clean, simple design, but functional. It shows the essential data like speed, battery, life, and pedal assist level. It's easy to read even in direct sunlight, and the controls are intuitive and placed within easy reach, so adjusting your assistant level on the fly is very simple. However, I did find the display could be a little bit more feature rich. It doesn't show detailed metrics like battery voltage or motor wattage, which some more advanced riders might miss. Now here is my favorite feature about this entire bike is the fact that it folds up. This thing folds up to fit into your trunk or if you live in apartment living or small area, you can actually store this inside of your home quite easily. And I must say that I'm absolutely blown away with the size and portability of this thing. I think that this is a fantastic selling feature for this bike because of what the cost does and what the actual feature packs you're getting with this as far as your motor, your battery, all of the bells and whistles. 
it's very feature packed for what this bike actually is. Loading and unloading this into a car is a little heavy, but the same fact I can put this in my trunk not worrying about actually needing to have a bike rack. So that's a massive plus for someone that necessarily doesn't want to ride to the destination, but drive maybe to a campsite, maybe bring it on vacation and be able to utilize that for around town riding in general. This does come with a seven speed Shimano shifter with the turning derailleur in the back there. It is uh, adequate. I mean, it's great. It, it works. It gives you a certain amount of speeds, but of course, at a certain level of pedal assist, you're just going to be pedaling to get the bike going. So if you are in speed mode five, you are just kind of ghost pedaling here slowly and it's just going to take off for you. But if you do want that true workout, you do have that ability to, to be in pedal assist one or two and use these gear modes one through seven. So fantastic in that sense. Now, after spending some time with the Angway L20, I can confidently say that this bike performs fantastic for the price. While it's not perfect, it offers a lot of value, especially those looking for an affordable price value bike. Now this is $7.99 before the discount code that's down there in the link. Truly appreciate that if you use it, directly supports the channel. But honestly, spending some time with this thing, getting a ton of mileage, a lot of fun. If you are someone that is a urban commuter that's looking to get the best bang for your buck, or if you live in a small apartment or wanted to go ahead and take something with you on vacation or camping, being able to fold this bike up, being able to throw it in your trunk, definitely a massive plus. 750 watt motor with up to 1125 watt hours of peak output. This thing hauls at 28 miles an hour. Throttle assist, pedal assist, it's definitely a fantastic e-bike overall. Comfortability, definitely for any cracks or roads in that imperfection in that sense. If you're on a budget and you want a comfortable, reliable ride with a decent budget, this is definitely one you should go ahead and take a look at. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, comment down below. Is this something you're interested in? Is this a bike that you're looking for? And uh, if you would like to see more, go ahead and click out that link up top there or anything in the description there for future videos. And remember guys, as always, wear a helmet. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.